Alex Neal, a point at Brentford. Do you see that as a step in the right direction or not? Um, no, I think my overriding emotion after the game's disappointment because I thought we more than merited the three points. I think we had the clearest chances in the game by far. Um, and I thought we dominated the match really from start to finish. So um, that's hugely disappointing. And we get another red card, which I think was completely unwarranted again. You know, that's three red cards we've had recently. And it's, um, yeah, it doesn't make it any easier. I don't know if you've had a chance to see the incident again. Yeah. Um, you have. So is it the sort of thing you would appeal? Uh, yeah, I think we'll certainly look into it. Um, my only worry is how successful the appeals normally get when it's a challenge. Um, but I think the sort of angle that the bodies are approaching at, I don't know what else Robbie can do apart from go in. You know, he's kept his studs low to the floor, he's put his foot in low to try and win the ball. Um, and at no time did he try and sort of folly through or, or hurt the lad at all, as you can see from his reaction, because he goes up to look for the ball immediately. Yeah, I, I've only seen a replay just on a mobile phone screen, and, and to me, you, you can't see it's a malicious foul from Brady if it's even a foul, can you? Yeah, well, that, that's the thing, but we're actually questioning whether it's a foul. So you can't be questioning whether it's a foul and then it'd be a red card. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. You talked about missed chances, so yeah. I don't want to single out one player, but they, they mostly fell to Cameron Jerome today, didn't they? Yeah, they did, but... Um, that's because his movement was good, his running power was good um, and we knew playing him and Nelson together, certainly in this type of game against a back three, that that, that would certainly cause them issues with, with Cameron's power and pace and he did that. Unfortunately, he, just, he didn't manage to finish some of the opportunities that he had. You talk about Brentford's back three, it was a different looking Norwich today, you, you played a back three, how pleased were you with the way that the new system worked? Yeah, it worked really well, but it worked really well because it was um, set up to design to, to combat the way they played. You know, so it's not a system that works in every game, um, but certainly for this game, looking at it, it was, it was certainly the right way to go. Um, and I don't think there's any question we deserve to win. Yeah, so, so it's not a sort of new Norwich and that's the way you're going to play from now on. It, it was just a, a formation that you thought would work today. Yeah, it, be, it was based on the game. So um, the next game will be different, the game after that will be different. So it's not to say that we won't play it next week or the game after, but um, it's not a system that we need to adopt for every match. You've talked about giving away sloppy goals this season. You've talked about players needing to show desire, yeah. and, and and that is one thing you got today in, in abundance. Yeah, we did. Um, so, and I think you could see the way the players went about their work. Um, so, regardless what other people might say, the players certainly haven't given up. Do you know I mean they're they're trying? And I thought tonight, I thought that was a prime example of that. We know you've been under pressure. I noticed as you walked down the tunnel a few moments ago, applause from from the away supporters. How much did that mean to you, given what you have been through in recent weeks? Uh, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure it was applause. I don't know what part you heard. Oh, okay. um, so, yeah, I, th I think it was mixed. You know, I think there's certainly some that are, um, appreciated the lads' efforts tonight, and there's others that obviously have got a different view, but all I can do is try and win games to try and change that view. That's the only, only thing I can do. You need another performance like that in many ways, don't you? On, on Monday now against Derby, the, the, the game's come so thick and fast. Yeah, but I think we need both. You know, I think we need a performance and a win. Because tonight, like I say, my, my overriding emotion isn't oh, good, we played well. It's disappointment we didn't win. Because um, at this stage, we want to win games, we want points on the board. I mean, what people's thoughts on me are, are a different kettle of fish. That's, that's just, that's what surrounds football at this level. So that doesn't concern me. I just want to make sure that my team's winning as many games as we can and try and get up the league. Um, and tonight was an opportunity missed, certainly by how we played. A quick couple of questions on, on Monday's <coughs> game, because we, we won't speak to you again before yeah. then. Two games in, in 48 hours, does that automatically mean that changes will be made? Yeah, I think that's fair to say. You know, I think um, certainly looking at Huddersfield game, where it was a quick turnaround, um, we certainly lacked a bit of legs in the middle, so we'll certainly be looking at how everybody was looking, how they're shaped up. Um, and I'm unsure what will happen with Robbie now as well in terms of appealing because I'm not how quickly that can get done or not done. Um, so we'll need to look into that. Johnny Harrison will be back though, won't he? Which gives you at least another option in the midfield. Yeah, of course. I thought Yusuf Malumbu, who's obviously gone away, was traffic tonight, um, as was Alex Tete. So um, I thought we had a lot of good performances. You know, But as you say, Johnny's a big player for us and him coming back certainly helps. And what do you anticipate in terms of, of an atmosphere at, at Camera Road on Monday? We, we've talked about the issue so much over the last few weeks. What, what, what are you anticipating when you stand by the touchline for the first time on, on Monday afternoon? Yeah, I think it'll probably be split, you know, as it was tonight. Um, so 
But listen, like I say, I can't affect what people are want to say or what people are want to do. All I can do is try my best for this football club and keep going and, and get the players prepared. And the players will do their talking on the pitch. You know that that's the most important thing. And I say that to the players tonight. All the rest of it, it's all background noise. The most important thing is what they guys do in that field. And if they win games and play well, the rest takes care of itself. Thanks, Alex. Thank you.